Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bugger Designs. I have a really fun card for you today. It features the Lighting the Way bundle from the 2023 Spring Mini Catalog from Stampin' Up. And it has our cute little fireflies, but it lights up. I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to turn the lights off. Let's see if you guys can see it. Can you see it lighting up? I think you can see it now. All right, I'm going to show you how to make this. Now, I am not an expert on circuits or electricity or anything. I just Googled it and found a couple of videos and I taught myself. So if I can do it, I think you can do it too. Okay, let me, I'm gonna pull up my chair because I need to sit down for this. I'm gonna show you first what the circuit looks like underneath. We're gonna use a button battery. This is your basic button battery, CR2032. I'm gonna have all of this listed on my blog post where you can get it from Amazon. That's where I ordered them. Um, and uh, you can actually get lots of projects out of these supplies. It's not just supplies for one project. But you're gonna need a battery. Um, you're gonna need some copper tape, right? This is reminds me of our, our uh, Terran tape. Um, it's just a roll of copper tape. And then the last thing that you're gonna need are some diodes. They are these tiny little lights um, and they come in different colors, shapes, sizes. Um, the ones that I got are pretty darn small. Um, I don't know if maybe a bigger size would be a little bit easier to handle, but with these nails, <laughs> it does make it a little tricky. So with those three things, this is what your um, circuit looks like. I find that it's a little bit temperamental, a little bit testy, but if you have some patience and you just uh, continue to work on it, you'll get the desired result that you want. All right, so we're gonna start with a soft seafoam card base. I'm gonna put my circuit on my card base. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is plan our path for our circuit. I'm gonna put my battery right here in a little piece of cardstock. And then I'm gonna have the first piece of tape go up, over, and down. And then the second piece of tape is gonna come over this way, up, over, and then it's gonna run parallel to this one. The tape has to be side by side and it can't touch. It has to be close enough so that the ends of these little diodes um, can touch the each each uh, piece, all right? And not mine, the ones that I got are pretty small. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is add my little housing. This is just a two by one or one by two piece of cardstock. And this is gonna hold our battery in place. And it's gonna give us the little tap tap, the little mechanism to turn it on and off. All right, now for your tape, I will warn you that it is a little bit clumsy because of the backing and it tears really easily. So go really slow and do your very best not to tear. All right, so I'm gonna start by just laying this down right here in my little housing. And I'm gonna go up and then to turn the corner, I'm gonna go back on itself like that and then just kind of let's see fold it over itself i can't seem to do it with my finger the pencil eraser seems to work really well all right and then just fold it make a corner like that okay and then go around do the same thing remember to stay about at least a quarter inch away from the edges of your card base. That way it can be hidden by the piece that we put down on top of it. Okay, there we go. All right, for the next piece. I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna put it inside the door right here. I'm gonna close the door and go on top of it. And then I'm gonna turn and 
gonna turn again. Let's see if I can make this a nice and neat turn. It's a little bit better. All right, now right here, when you make this turn, you wanna make sure that you're close enough to the next track, but not touching. close as you can get without touching. Let's see, I can't tell if I'm touching or not. I gotta pull it down a little bit, sorry guys. All right, one last corner. And this becomes very annoying with all this extra backing. Let's see if I can tear some of that off. All right, fold it back on itself and turn. And we're almost there, we're almost there. And we made it. Okay, it may not be pretty. They're not gonna hire me to put any copper pipes in a house or anything. <laughs> but that's what you need. All right, so now take your battery and put that in there. And I'm going to test out one of my little diodes. Now what I found is that I just kind of had to play around with it. Oops, see there, it's lighting up. I had to slide it around, play with it to find the right place. All right, so I'm gonna take this one. I think I'm gonna start up a little bit higher. All right, you've got to keep that door closed to test your, to test your diodes. All right, that looks like a good place. So I'm gonna take a piece of tape and I'm gonna, there we go, slide it around until it lights up. All right, let's get another one up here. And you'll find that as you put more of these on here, the other ones will kind of blink and kind of react a little bit different. I don't know why that is. I'm not an electrician or a scientist, but I just know that it happens. <laughs> I am an artist who is trying to do something sciencey. All right, so just play around with your, sometimes I have to twist them around until you see it light up. Boy, these nails not coming in real handy right now. There we go, we found a spot for that one. Look at how far we've traveled Look at how much we've done Truth is one person can matter Just look what ideas can become journey to our destination is what we remember today. Go oh, celebrate the difference that we made. Thinking back at where we started, we can see just how far we have come with what each of us has created. There is power in one The journey is not always easy But with every step along the way Oh, 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 oh. 
Okay, I think I have enough of them. Now, as you can see, as I played with it, sometimes I have to poke it around. Even after I tape it down sometimes, I have to kind of poke in. It's like one end needs to go down further than the other. So I will just get tape and kind of move it around. Sometimes you'll get some that just won't stay on. Just move on, add some more. Um, you're gonna add your fireflies wherever your lights light up. You can see this one's being persnickety. Sometimes it comes on, sometimes it doesn't. But for me, I think that's good enough. All right, so let's adhere this. I'm gonna add a little glue dot right here to hold down my battery. And let's see, yep, still works. Okay, so now we've got our circuit made, and now we need to decorate our card. So fun. All right, the first thing we're going to do is stamp some of our branches, some of our leaves onto this piece of, um, this is soft sea foam, and this is pear pizzazz ink. I'm looking for scrap paper. Let's see, we'll just use this. And I'm gonna just start by stamping and then stamping again. All right, I'm gonna do that a bunch. And each time, I'm gonna kind of turn the branch so that it's a different direction. All right, we'll do one there. And then over here, on another piece of soft sea foam, I'm gonna stamp this twice. I think two times will be enough. These are the ones that we're gonna die cut. All right, now there's another branch that you can do, and we'll do two of those here as well. And then you can, if you want, come back over here and add in a few more leaves like that. All right, so that's the piece that's gonna go on top of our circuit. Let's try it again, make sure it's still working. See how they're gonna light up? All right, that one seems to be flickering, but for the most part, they're all working. Okay, now we're gonna stamp, how many did we need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna stamp seven fireflies on vellum, and I'm gonna use Stazon. Um, Stazon will dry pretty quick on your non-porous surface. So that's why I am using stays on because on our vellum, we don't want it to smear. There we go. All right, last but not least, we're gonna stamp our sentiment. Thanks for lighting the way. I'm also gonna do that in stays on right there in the corner of that piece of basic white and we'll cut that into just a strip all right now i am going to use my cut and emboss machine and my coordinating dies i have already cut out the big firefly this piece from basic black this from vellum and this one from daffodil delight all right so we're going to need this small little guy for those and then we're going to need the two these two branches all right i'm going to speed up the video while i do this because it's going to take me a few minutes to get these all cut out all right we've got all of our pieces so it's time to put our card together the one thing that i didn't do is trim that so just grab your trimmer and trim that just we just need it big enough for the words there we go okay so the first thing i'm going to do is take some foam adhesive strips and i'm going to put them all around the edge here of this piece that we stamped. Okay, these need to be a little bit smaller. We'll put that there. 
We're not making a shaker card, so we don't have to seal these. We just want it to give us enough volume and height that this thing won't sit resting on it. All right. Put that right there, cut that. Okay, so now, oh my goodness, I'm all thumbs. Let's peel off the backing of those. And let's test our, G, our diodes one more time. They're being kind of persnickety, but that's okay. They all come on eventually. <laughs> and they're twinkling like fireflies would. Now we've got to make sure that this thing doesn't get trapped down. All right, so now when I push it, we'll see our geodes, or why do I keep calling them that? Our diodes lighting up. Okay, so now I'm gonna get some um, glue dots and All right, let's put our little, our big firefly together. I'm gonna to put his wings on the back of him like that. And then the rest of him, let's see if I can get that turned over right there. All right, now I'm gonna add in my little branches down here, kind of at varying heights want them to kind of fill in this a little bit of this space here in the middle like that we'll cut that one off down there and then we're going to take our words and I'll just use some more adhesive strips since that's what I've got here. And we want to put that kind of right where that button is. We want them to push, okay? Now, last but not least, we have our little, or I keep calling him little, but he's the, he's like the queen, the king lightning bug. And I'm going to get Let's see, I'll get a mini dimensional for him. And put that right in the middle. And just put him right there. And there you have it. Let's look at the one, my original one. I think my fireflies are spaced out a little bit better over here. I lost one, he flew away. I'm not sure where he went, but <laughs> I'll fix it later. Oh, and I forgot the the linen thread bow too. If you wanna add in a little bit more of an embellishment, just get your linen thread, tie a bow, and glue dot, and I just kind of slid it under, but you know what, let's put it right there. I kinda of like that too. All right, you guys, there is a fun light up card for you. I um, encourage you to give those little circuits a try. Um, be patient. Sometimes it takes a couple of tries. These guys can be a little testy, um, but it's fun and it's so satisfying when you get your card to light up. All right, check my blog for the links for all the supplies and the measurements for this card. Thanks everybody, bye-bye.